Hi guys, in the last tutorial we learned how to calculate the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple by writing the list of factors and multiples of a given set of numbers. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to calculate the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple by using Venn diagrams and prime factorization methods. Now as we saw in a previous tutorial, prime factorization serves as building blocks for numbers. So we can describe each number by its prime factors. And Venn diagrams gives us an easy way to illustrate the distinct prime factors and the common prime factors between a set of numbers. Let's go ahead and use this method to look at this question. Find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 18 and 24. So using the Venn diagram method, let's use a blue circle to represent the set of prime factors of the number 18. And let's use a red circle to represent the set of prime factors of 24. What we'll then need to do is fill in this diagram to show the prime factors inside this set. So in order to do that, we need to use the prime factorization method for each number first. So what we'll need to do is start with the number 18. We then split 18 into a product of two and nine. As nine is not a prime number, we split the number nine into a product of three and three. And as we have circles on the ends of each branch, it means that we've now finished the prime factorization. Therefore, we can write 18 as equal to two times three times three. Using the factor tree method to find the prime factors of 24, we start with 24 and then we split 24 into a product of three and eight. As eight is a composite number, in other words, it's not prime, means that we can further split eight into two and four. As four is not prime, we can split four into two and two and since the edge of all our branches are now circled, it means that we've completed the process. So 24 can be written as equal to three times two times two times two. Okay, so now we have the prime factors of each number. It means that we can complete this Venn diagram. So if we shade this region to represent the region where the prime factors of each number are shared in common, well, we can notice that in both terms, there are matching threes, okay? So we can update this Venn diagram to show that there are matching threes, to show that both 24 and 18 have a prime factor of three. We can also see there are matching twos, which means that two also goes here. Now, as there are no more prime factors in common, we need to fill in the rest of this diagram. And this three is a prime factor of 18, but is not a prime factor of 24. So this is where it would go on the Venn diagram. And once you've written out the remaining parts of the Venn diagram, it's always useful to just cross out three in this case. And lastly, we have a remaining pair of twos, which are prime factors of 24, but are not prime factors of 18. So it would go here in the Venn diagram. Okay, so we've now completed the Venn diagram. So in order to find the highest common factor, all we need to do is multiply the two prime factors that we found in the middle of this Venn diagram, otherwise known as the intersection. So that's two times by three, which is equal to six. So the highest common factor of 18 and 24 is equal to six. In order to find the lowest common multiple, all we need to do is multiply all the numbers that are in the Venn diagram. Okay, therefore the lowest common multiple would be equal to three multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by two, which is equal to 72. Okay, so this method can be more efficient than listing out factors and multiples, and we'll see this in future examples. Let's have a look at another example. Find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 28 and 63. So using the method of Venn diagrams together with prime factorization, we need 
to complete this Venn diagram, which means we need to find the prime factors of 28 and 63. So using the factor tree method, we can show that 28 is equal to two times by two times by seven. And using the factor tree method for 63, we can show that 63 is equal to seven times three times by three. Let's shade in the region where both numbers share the same prime factors. By looking at the prime factorization, we can see that they both share a seven. So we can write this in this area and they share no other prime factors. So completing the remaining part of the Venn diagram, we can see that there are a pair of twos that are prime factors of 28 and not 63. So it goes here. And there are a pair of threes, which are prime factors of 63, but not 28. So they go here. So as seven is the only number within this region, we can conclude that the highest common factor of 28 and 63 is seven. And the lowest common multiple is two times by two times by seven times by three times by three, which is equal to 252. All right, let's have a look at the next question. Find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 56, 63, and 108. Okay, so using the same method, as we have three numbers, we are going to use a three-way Venn diagram. So we again need to use the factor tree method to find the prime factors of each number and complete this Venn diagram. So starting with 56, the factor tree shows that the number 56 can be written as seven times by two times by two times by two. Breaking 108 down into prime factors shows that 108 can be written as two times two times three times three times three. And lastly, 63 can be written as seven times three times three. So if we allow this to be the shaded region that contains all the prime factors that 56, 108 and 63 have in common. By looking at the prime factorization of each number, there are no common prime factors between all of the numbers. And if there are no common prime factors, that means that the highest common factor between all of the numbers is equal to one. So one would go here. And in fact, one would always go in this part of the Venn diagram by default. We just don't generally write it when there are other prime factors. Let's allow this pink region to be the area containing the common prime factors of 108 and 63. By looking at these numbers, we can see that there are a pair of threes that match. So we can write these threes inside this region. And if we shade this region to be the area containing the common prime factors of 56 and 108, by looking at the numbers, we can highlight the fact that there are a pair of matching twos between the values. So we can update the Venn diagram accordingly. Now let's look at the common prime factors between 56 and 63. Looking at the factorizations, we can see that the only common prime factor is seven. And therefore we'd write seven in this region. And here we have a three, which is a prime factor of 108 and none of the others. So it goes here. And here we have a two, which is a prime factor of 56 and none of the others. So it goes here. So as one is the only number in the intersection or the middle of this Venn diagram, the highest common factor is equal to one. And in order to find the lowest common multiple, all we need to do is multiply all the numbers within this diagram, okay? So the lowest common multiple is two times two times two times seven times three times three times three times this one, but we've run out of space and this is equal to 1,512, okay? So in this particular case, using the prime factorization method is a lot more efficient than writing out a list of all of the factors and all of the multiples of these numbers in order to calculate the highest common factor and lowest common multiple. Okay, so I hope that was useful and I will see you in the next tutorial where we will be looking at some exam style questions. Until then, keep up the good work and I will see you soon.
If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.